Okay guys, it's time for the water coloring. We're going to actually do some painting. As you can see, I had mine and I actually went ahead and painted it. And I'm going to use watercolors here, but um, we're going to get to the watercolors part in a minute. I want to tell you about this interesting discussion I had. Very interesting discussion um, with one of my classes here. We started talking about crops and what you can grow and what you can't grow. And I had a, a, a very interesting question. Mr. P, Mr. P, hey Mr. P, I know what I want to grow. One of my students said, I know what I want to grow. I'm like, well, what do you want to grow? I want to grow pizza. Well, you can't really grow. You can grow some of the things to go on pizza, but you can't really grow pizza. Yeah, you can't really grow pizza. Yeah, yeah. Like you can put a pepperoni off your pizza and put it in the ground and water it, and this big, beautiful pepperoni plant comes popping up. <laughs> no, no, doesn't work like that. But after that idea, then I had somebody else. Well, if you can grow pizza, then I want to grow chocolate chip cookies. And, and it just spiraled all out of control. I mean, it really did. It really did. And then I started thinking about that thing. What if, what if you could? What if you could grow things like that? What if you could? What if you could grow yourself a chocolate chip cookie? What if you could have a plant that produced pepperoni pizzas? So that spiraled into a whole nother project. Yes, we still have people working on these. And yes, these rubbing plates are awesome. These, these, these designs and, and actually doing the rubbing process, that's great. And we had fun doing that. But then what about, what about if you don't want to use the rubbing plates? What about if you didn't have time to make these? Well, you can do something else. Kind of along the same lines as this. I mean, you see what I started drawing already? And then you put your buildings in there. And I'm just using a black crayon. Um, and you put your silo in there just like you did before on the other ones. And then over here you can put your grist mill that we were talking about before. Put your grist mill with the with the with the wheel on the side. But but what about when you get to the crop section? What about you coming up with some crops that you can't really draw or can't really grow but that you can pretend. So I like to call this my fiction farm. That's right, this is my fiction farm. You can grow pretty much anything you want to grow. So this would be a chocolate chip cookie. I would have rows and rows of chocolate chip cookies. And notice I'm just using the black crayon guys. Rows and rows and rows of chocolate chip cookies. Notice everything is still in rows, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So how about over here, um, maybe pizza? Want to do some pizzas? Let's go ahead and make some pizzas. Put some pepperonis on there. Make it a little bit bigger as you get down because as we said before, things up here are small and when they get down here, they get a little bigger. So we can put some pepperoni pizzas. Make another one that's a little bit bigger. Kind of keep that perspective together. All right, why not? Why not? All right, let's see. What else can you grow? What else? What else? <gasps> what about some donuts? Yeah, I love donuts. We make rolls and rolls and rolls of donuts. We got pizza, chocolate chip cookies, donuts. I don't know. Let your imagination go wild. Here are some crayons that I got. And we can use these to kind of color in our crops that we just drew. I wouldn't, I wouldn't color in the actual ground, the actual background. Let's use that, let's save that for the painting. The actual watercolors. But yeah, let's, let's color in our crops. And I love chocolate chip cookies. You me love cookies. <laughs> anyway, but this would be a really nice way to do this project without having to make those rubbing plates. Maybe you don't have the time to make the rubbing plates. Maybe you don't have the supplies on hand. With this, all you would need is crayons and paper and, of course, our watercolors. Now, I've been using this liquid watercolor in the classroom, guys. This, this thing is awesome. I, I, this is my first time using this. Um, 
it already comes like in little bottles like this and um, this is yellow by the way and um, you, you squirt I can squirt a little bit in my little container here not really that much you know and then add a little water and these things are great for like water like you know if you just need somewhere somewhere to, to, to clean your brush or something like that I just go and get these little cereal bowls and the awesome thing about it is you get to eat the cereal too I mean they're hey, hey they're great <laughs> I can't look carried away okay all right anyway so dip your brush into it you know dip your brush into it and then you're just gonna paint on top just right over top of the whole section. You just paint right over top of the whole section, guys. I mean, and it, it really comes out well. It really comes out looking good. I, I actually had students want to do the Fiction Farm. Um, once I mentioned it, you know, once it came up in class, and it's really cool stuff like that comes up, really cool ideas come up, and, and you got to roll with it, man. You got to roll with it because you never know what the project could turn into. And this is just something just kind of, I thought, spiraled out of control, but in actuality, it, it came out looking really good, and I'm glad that, you know, I was open to to change what I had planned because because some of them, I'm gonna roll in some of the footage some of what they came up with guys look really really good it looks really great and I, I'm glad that they had the opportunity to express themselves in this way and and the term fiction farm I think really fits and kind of ties in a little bit with uh, what our librarian was talking about nonfiction fiction versus nonfiction reality versus make believe and I think it just kind of ties in really well so anyway um, that is what we're doing today boys and girls and I would like for you gal to go and have fun there's my water on that brush girl You're brushing and nothing's happening. All right, all right, all right. Now we got it going.